Hey, Mrs. Douglas, in class today, we learned about something called sequence of events. Oh, yeah. You know, like when you're reading a story and you have to put things in order. Mm -hmm. So I was just wondering if you could help our second graders with that and maybe just kind of put your day in order and tell them about your day. I could do that. Um, I actually could show you what I did today. Oh, would you show me? Yeah, let's, I'm going to show you first. Did you see what I did today? I did. I was a little bit confused from your video though because in sequence of events it goes first, next, last and I felt like yours was a little bit out of order. So It did seem a little weird didn't it? Yeah and so I want you to think back what was the very first thing you did today? Well first I got out of bed and in your video you didn't get out of bed first. Oh. So kind of like in a story if we don't put what comes first, it's not going to make sense. Right. So let's run through your day again and okay. see if you could maybe get it in order this time in a sequence. Okay. Well, first I got out of bed. Okay. Then I went and brushed my teeth. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Next I drove to school. Okay. Then I went inside my classroom. Um, oh, then we went to lunch. Yeah. That was, that was an awesome part of my day. Um, then I came home after school and made supper. Right. That makes a lot more sense. I, I loved those keywords. First, next, then, and then yeah. you said last. Yeah. And before it just was kind of all jumbled. Now if you look at those details, it's all in order. So let's yeah. see if we could watch it again, but now in the right order, just like a story would be in the right order. Yeah. Should let's see how that? it looks. Okay. a lot better didn't it yeah it did look a lot better because things were in order yeah so second graders when you are reading a story and you're trying to put things in order or in a sequence you really have to think about what happened first in the story then what happened next and maybe what happened last because if you start with something in the middle your story it's gonna be really confusing yeah it's gonna be very confusing to retell that story if you start with something from the last you're gonna be telling your story backwards so when you are trying to sequence a story, you have to start with first, next, last, and then it'll make a lot more sense. 